good choice. Goldie Garneau, the pleasure's all yours. Hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm your man. Alphonse Capone, nice to meet you. C'est ça, oui. Hey, good choice. Yo soy Elvira Duarte. Let's take this city. You made the right choice. You and I could do good business together. Muy bien. You... Let's do some business together. Hi there. It's Maggie Dyer. And she's service. Good choice. Que pasó? Night. You... Good. Alphonse. Hey, I'm your only man. All right. Let's do more. It's time to clean up this city. Good evening, Daniel. Mayor Thompson, I'm surprised to see you at the Dunbar Club. It's Bill to my friends. So, what should I call you then? It's not clear right now, Mayor Thompson. Come on, Daniel, don't be like that. I wanted to come by in person to say I was sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. He did his best, supporting his family and community as long as he could. You think he would have given free funeral services to every other family in the second ward? It's my parlor, my business. It's what he would have wanted. It's a family trade. Doesn't sound like business at all. Not one that lasts long anyway. It's a loan. How would it be if we weren't able to bury our father when the time came? People need this. Like they need your hooch and whores and illegal policy records? Of course, I don't know any of that. It's as savory as your business, Mr. Mayor. I think I'm the more honest of the two of us. I'm going to be honest with you now. Jackson the businessman is smarter than Jackson the humanitarian. I'd like to speak to him, please. I'll check if he's in. What's your request? 
I have some issues in my administration at the moment. There's an opportunist, Mr. Jerry Johnson, who doesn't share my vision for the city. He's threatening to go to the papers. I'd like you to stop him before he impacts my re-election campaign. Just scare him. Nothing too extreme. I know Jerry. I let him borrow some money to pay for his kid's medical bills. Good. Then you've got leverage. How much can the city spare for this important work? I thought you had the interests of the community at heart. Aren't I the community? Why doesn't the community put its hand in its pocket and see how much it has to spare? I'll give you... How generous. Bet it on the wheel. You might get lucky. Have you given thought to endorsing me as a committeeman for the second ward? Daniel the Humanitarian, sure. But Daniel the Businessman... Be careful which one you decide to deal with, Mayor Thompson. Give it time, Daniel. With the election, we need to scrush him. Keep the money. I need your word. When the time is right, you'll give me your endorsement. I promise. I'll take care of it. You help me, I help you. That's the deal. Take the money anyway, huh? The goodwill of the people. Call me when it's done. You can trust me, Daniel. Now, is there a back door out of here? Sure. Let me show you out. Welcome to Chicago. Let's have a look around. Okay. Chicago is a dangerous place, and in order to survive, you're gonna need to learn how to fight. Fortunately, I know right where you can find one. This joint belongs to Ronnie O'Neill. He calls himself the boss of the Meat Packers gang. His thugs aren't going to know what to get them. In Empire of Sin, combat is turn-based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above, and the turn order is decided by a character's initiative stat. If enemies are allied with a boss, that boss is also shown under their portrait. The action bar is below. In combat, you can move or choose an action from the action bar. 
Some actions require a target. It's your turn, so fire a shot if you've got a target. Choose another action, or move into cover. character has two action points, or AP. Generally, each action takes one AP. Extended moves, special weapons, and some abilities take two AP. Choose an action below to see how many AP it requires. Using cover is vital to your survival. Cover is provided by the environment, walls, cars, big objects, etc. Cover can be full cover, represented by a full or half cover. Okay. Moving in. When you win a racket, you have several options. Let's take this place over and make it ours. And let's make this a speakeasy. Taking a place over costs less than buying it outright. And it's free to keep the racket type the same. yours and that's how it's done you want something take it you're gonna need some guards to keep your speakeasy safe so open up the racket screen you got four different ways you can class up the joint starting with security the information panel to the right shows you you can rush the upgrade by selecting the rush button go ahead and do that now since you got a stage get yourself a band upgrading go ahead and rush the band too I'm sure they used it. Select Rush. That's what I'm talking about. Looks great. Now, let's get out of here. You got other work to do. Alright. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent, and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns, too. Who's that?
Got a problem? As long as the money Notice comes in. Notice that your crew members have a take. Their price for working with you. Gangsters range from professional hitmen what? to shockingly wayward criminals. They have a. You'll find gangsters looking for work out in the world. Mm. And now, hire your second crew member. Gracias. Now you got yourself got a, a problem. Squad. Just in time, too. Your new speakeasy isn't gonna last long without alcohol. It's the resource oh, that right. makes your world go round. What? Just they so happens no Ronnie O'Neill's got a brewery close by. The moon right, is expecting you. Hopefully, they've all oh, They got me! Oh, oh, oh. You're gonna need more than a few guns to take out Ronnie and his guards. Luckily, the black market's got everything you need. Open- Now that you're in the shop window, it's time to get yourself some provisions. Check the stats and effects of any item in the shop in the right window pane. Leave the shop when you have what you need. Now, take over Ronnie's brewery to let him know who's boss. Ten four.
Move it. Understood. This racket over too. It's free to set up a racket of the same type you took over. It'll cost you to re-outfit a racket as something else. Select brewery. Taking my rackets, Jackson, and I ain't too fucking happy about it. You should stick to working with stiffs. Oh, this is pointless. When you decide you want to talk face to face, you know where to find me. Step outside the brewery. Sit-downs with another boss is serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses, too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. Okay. I heard you were half a saint, Daniel. Racketeering doesn't suit you. You got the wrong type of hat. I'm well-mannered, yes, but not always well-behaved. Well, you better stop behaving. If you don't learn to play by the rules, you'll be seeing angels fucking soon. I see death every day, Ronnie. If you want to scare me, you'll have to try harder. Is that right? You might want to watch what you say. I ain't afraid of getting the floors dirty. I'd rather you didn't. They're gonna be my floors soon. You surprised me, Jackson. You got edge. So I'm gonna give you one more chance. Give me back my rackets. Or you're gonna find out firsthand just how deep Lake Michigan goes. What's it gonna be?
If you hadn't been so careless, perhaps you would still have them. As it stands, they're mine now, and I intend to keep them. I got a bullet here that says otherwise. You ready to disagree with it? Very ready. This is a boss battle, in the literal sense. To win at this game, you need to be the last one. I appreciate you. Entendido. What the fuck? May the best man win. <laughs> Entendido. Understood. Shit! They got me! Oh. There could be oh. no other end. Defend it at all costs. 
Your safe house gives you both defensive and offensive benefits. Like everything else, your safe house needs security. It also has a small brewery in case the feds shut down everything else. You can upgrade as you need to, but to win at sin, you're going to need more than that. Right now, you'll need to do the legwork, but eventually, you'll get an underboss to do your bidding while you command things from here. One last thing. To keep tabs on your empire, open the Empire Overview screen. This is your empire at a glance. Everything you need is here, and it goes pretty deep. You can see things like who runs the neighborhood, what people are drinking versus what you're serving, what others in the neighborhood are up to. You can see opportunity, too. Optimize alcohol, get an underboss and an advisor, add some synergy bonuses, or even a hotel. Never look around. When you're ready, select the racket tab. The racket tab shows every racket you know about, including those owned by others. You can see what level of upgrade they're at and compare your own. Now, select Customer. The Customer tab shows how well you're doing filling your rackets with customers. You can increase customers by upgrading your word-of-mouth advertising, locating next to other rackets, or improving your ambience. Next, open the Finance screen. The Finance tab gives you an overview of everything you're making and spending. Last, select Alcohol. The Alcohol tab gives you an overview on what's being made and where. You can see your upgrades here as well, and how they can be improved. Looks like you just got a mission. Get a better look at what you need to do by opening the mission screen. Here, you can see a list of active missions, as well as each mission's requirements and descriptions. You can toggle completed missions by selecting the Close tab. Close the mission screen. You need to get moving, get a crew, get rackets, fortify them, make allies and enemies, and take them out. That's how you own this city. Go get them, Kingpin. I'll see you around.